Hey guys, welcome to my Richard videos. Well, doing much work today. Shop, got my machine in here, doing maintenance on it, getting it ready for pruning peaches, oil change, and all that, all that stuff. Moving it up. Anyways, here's my spare parts for the articulating tractor project. <coughs> got this for a really, really good deal. Uh, of course, the engine doesn't run, but probably could make it run if I really wanted to. Spare parts. But what I'm after is right here. Transmission. So this one has uh, Ford and Reverse on it. So. And there's an apparatus here for engaging the engine to the transmission. You lift this lever up here and it engages the belt in there. Yeah, so we're going to take this engine apart here, take it off the thing here, and we're going to see what we have for parts. We could probably use most of it, use most of these uh, freely farty things. It's throttle, I guess. So, yeah. So there's, there's a ton of parts on this thing. It's, ca it's crazy. All sorts of stuff. If you know how to use it, there's tons of stuff. Look, differential. Oh, there's gobs and gobs of power up. Gobs and gobs of parts on here a guy can use for my project. So, here's the launch tractor. So, I'll show you this. Let's take some time. So, turn it down. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to put the uh, rotavator transmission in the front. It's going to power the front wheels and then leave the transmission on the back of the machine. And then that way, when we want a four-wheel drive, then we'll have to kick the uh, transmission into uh, in the first gear or whatever. And then reverse, we'll have to figure that out. Probably put it in neutral and then the uh, that like once put the transmission in new, you know, it, it, it's going to be a bit of a funky thing, but uh, until I figure out how to do it a better way, but it's going to be pretty much the way uh, those um, passive colonial tractors are, because you have two transmissions, same idea, but they're a little more advanced, <laughs> uh, so speaking. So, uh, yeah, so pretty interesting project, I'm really looking forward to get into it, but I'm going to have to beef it up, uh, because this is not, um, it's pretty thin metal, and I think I might get some channel iron or something, and so I can run my pivot points and modify what I need to modify on it to get it where I want it to be. Um, yeah, so there's lots of little things that I need to go through, but I'm going to try not to touch it too much, uh, and so at least, you know, it'll uh, do what I want to do. Uh, the I have the uh, power string box there, or a string box there for this, to, so I can move it. It's, uh, it's a mechanical, mechanical uh, power st or string box, so I don't need any hydraulic lines on it, which is okay, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's lots of good parts. We can still can figure things out. We still have this good axle here, so yeah, I'll we'll have to see how it goes, I guess. But yeah, so starting on it a little bit here and there, and need to figure out. Uh, how uh, my materials for making this in, making this thing pivot. So yeah, we'll have to go get things measured out and do some planning and go from there. So it's pretty interesting. Pretty pretty interesting little machine. That's the break. So. Um, We'll probably be modifying that uh, further back, possibly, because we still need brakes <laughs> to stop it, damn thing. So, uh, but yeah, so it's a pretty interesting little project. Kind of looking forward to uh, getting it going. So the the drive on it is going to be very, very similar to what's on this machine here. We call this a direct man lift kind of thing. So. Probably a lot of you guys have never seen anything like this before in the past. 
Uh, it's very, this machine has been used here in this part of the world here in uh, southern, southern British Columbia in the orchard business for years and years. And I think there's, I'm not sure if they're popular in the States or not, probably in Washington State probably, and probably other places in California that have orchards of different uh, uh, fruits. So these come anywhere from, they go in heights, anywhere from 8 foot right up to I think 19 feet in this particular machine. Uh, probably bigger because uh, some of them are yellow, and those are called kangaroos, and those have four tires on them. They go up really, really high. So 19, 20, 25 feet, 30 feet in the air. So those are pretty interesting. But anyways, the drive on this thing here is very simple. You have your hydraulic pump there, and you have your orbit motor over there. It powers the uh, rear end here. So it's a very simple system. You have some hydraulics. Pretty simple design. And how I'm going to build the articulating tractor is going to be very similar to how this is operated. Very, very simple. And you know, you have your controller, it's all by cable. Uh, the older ones were actually were um, uh, uh, rods. What they had, like my old, my old the red machine actually has that. Uh, back in the uh, 50s, they all did everything on mechanical, right? You get more modern, they have cables. But on the old machines, you had rods. Your rod would be pushing it back and up and down, and you know it was a very very crude system, but it was very effective and it worked. But this is more modern with cables, so. But anyways, yeah, so that's the similar system, and here's the lever for forward and back. So you need brakes, hydraulic brakes, and those are just, that's uh, side shift. Well, it used to side shift, but not anymore. Then there's your up and down lever. So it's a very simple design, and uh, I've, lots, I've lots of experience running these machines and how they, how they work, and that's what's going to make that thing the... Uh, a trickling tractor uh, interesting project because I already have experience with this kind of hydraulic system. Very, very effective and it works just fine. So there's a lot of things to think about and you know, you guys know, you know how it goes. So yeah, pretty interesting. So, same design. So, if you guys have any questions about the articulating tractor or you have any, uh, you want to actually want to see what the uh, tractor looks like. Uh, well, I posted a picture of it, but basically I'm basing the idea off an Italian made tractor. I think uh, over in Russia they made them too. So, uh, I forget if it's, it's Italian or Russian. Well, it, something like that. It's, it's one of those two countries that, ha that made that the tractor I'm basing this off of. So, very simple and crude, but uh, the articulating the articulated machine is uh, it's nothing new. It's still being used in many heavy applications, and it, it'll just it'll keep being used in many ha many heavy applications forever until they find some other kind of way of turning. So, anyways, stay tuned for more updates on the articulating lawn tractor project. So, besides, I need something to put my backhoe on the backhoe, my little homemade backhoe. <laughs> anyway, um, I will be looking for some parts. I need to get some tires like that for the front. So, to find some rims or find some other tires that are very similar in height. So, anyways, that's that there. Alright, and uh, thanks, Mr. Rusty Gloveblox, for com commenting on my videos lately. Alright, guys take it easy, stay tuned for more updates on the Articulating Tractor Project. Thanks, thanks for watching, bye for now.